So I'm um, Mariana Zobel de Ayala. Um, I've been with Ayala Corporation for the past five years, based in Manila, Philippines. So I think the next decade is going to be incredibly interesting um, for the Philippines. Um, the Filipino as a consumer is a huge consumer of technology and trends um, and very uniquely adaptable. So I think all the larger global trends, um, you know, centered around technology are going to have a pretty magnified impact specifically on the Filipino consumer, um, on quality of life, on financial inclusion, um, on general access and, and connectivity. And I think it's going to be really interesting to watch how the consumer evolves and hopefully eventually it becomes a trendsetter um, into the future. Actually, I think we've already started to see um, you know, how e-commerce and even fintech have started to affect the retail experience in the Philippines. Both are growing uh, massively. Um, and I think, I think that'll continue to do so. Um, but what I think will be interesting is, is how, you know, our general kind of malling culture, if you will, our general kind of comfort with malls as a kind of substitute for public spaces um, will integrate with this new kind of digital world. Um, I guess the word omni-channel consumers use a lot, and I think that's going to be especially true um, for the Filipino. I think um, they're going to have more power around the ways in which they choose to consume, um, but I do think it'll continue to be across all fronts, whether offline or online. Um, and I think, similar to, to other spaces around the world, we're going to see you know, an increase in, in demand for in-person, kind of high-touch experiences around retail. I think that inequality and poverty are going to be huge challenges to our growth potential. Um, and I believe that, you know, progress will come when Filipinos have more control over their destiny. And that'll only come in turn if, you know, basic needs are provided um, at a level that's competitive globally. Um, which is why I'm especially excited about opportunities in, in education, in infrastructure, and in healthcare. Um, because I think those will all contribute to the competitiveness of the country and the productivity of the Filipino, more specifically. So the Philippines has generally been seen as kind of more of a service-driven um, industry. We have this fantastic wealth of, of individuals that are, you know, contributing to sectors in, in countries other than the Philippines. And I'd hope that in the next decade, we'd see a shift in that. I hope that we find ways um, to grow the country's attractiveness um, and employment opportunities um, such that that talent stays within the country and helps us move forward uh, rather than seek opportunities abroad. I think digitalization is going to be huge um, for the Philippines specifically as with other emerging markets um, because I think the access, the connectivity um, will be an equalizer. Um, it'll bring costs down for a lot of opportunities and you know in the financial services space and and in other consumer spaces um, that's going to allow for greater access and participation of, of the Filipino consumer in a way that they probably hadn't before. Thank you.